This firmware update enhances a lot of the media capabilities of the PlayStation 3. The main feature of this is a feature called the Photo Gallery. And after you do the update, you'll find that in the Photos section. So basically, if you go over to the Photos section, you'll see a new icon called Photo Gallery. And uh, we've pre-installed this, but after you install the firmware update, you do have to install the photo gallery. This is an option, so you don't have to do it, but if you'd like to do it, it's a little over 100 megs, so it doesn't take a lot of time. And I'll click on this. And uh, while this boots up, I'll tell you about some of the other enhancements in 2.60. We've added support for DivX 3.11, and we've also allowed guest browsing for people who aren't members of PlayStation Network for the PlayStation Store. So what that means is if you're not a member of the PlayStation Network currently and you're not registered, you definitely should be, but if you're not, you can now browse the PlayStation Store, see everything available, and then once you decide to purchase something or download anything else, you'll have to register. So we're in the photo gallery. So the photo gallery is a great new way to enhance the photos you have on your PS3. It's a great way to sort and find all of your photos and a great way to display them. So once you're in the application, there are lots of different ways to sort your photos. As you can see here, I can scroll along this list, which is in date order, but there are plenty of other ways to do this using the power of the PS3. For example, you can sort by the relative age of the people in the photos, sorting by smiles, landscapes, colors, sorting by the camera that you took the photos with. So lots of different ways to find your photos. Once you find photos, you can easily drop them into a photo album section, and then by hitting the R1 button, here we go into the album section. Now, it's important to know all of the existing photo features on the PS3 are still there. So the slideshow features, as well as the playlist, are all still on the PS3 where you remember them. But this is a nice new way to take advantage of showing photos on your PS3. So if you ever run into any trouble with the application or need help on how to use it, you can hit the triangle button, and within the application, there's a help section. You can also go to PlayStation.com to find out more information. And we've also prepared a short video that kind of shows you the breadth and depth of features that are within the application. We'll roll that in a second. So we hope you enjoy this, and we look forward to your feedback.